wanna sail away. I wanna sail away. Miami Boat Show. Yes, the world famous Miami International Boat Show. And seeing as how we'd never been and we just visited a Hunter 466 in Fort Lauderdale, we couldn't think of a better way to spend the rest of our day than looking at a bunch of boats we couldn't possibly afford. Mm -hmm. And we kicked things off with what turned out to be some of our favorites, the Janos. This is a Janos, something big. 490. Is this. Wow. While a lot of the newer boats seem to share a very similar style, we just really particularly like the wood tones and overall design of the interiors of the Janos. I feel like we're like modeling <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty decided. Let's just, uh, we're just going to get one of these. Yeah, I think that's doable. I think, uh, I think it's pretty adequate. Headroom is amazing. The lounge seats upstairs is what's all amazing. The lounge seats upstairs. This whole area is laid out. That's awesome. That's really, nice. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, you can have like Thanksgiving dinner on this. Yeah, you could. Right. Oh, it opens off. all the way across. Yeah. Uh, and it's hydraulic. Lowers right. up and down. That's very interesting. Yeah. 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 Pretty cool. Let's go find a contract. This would be the light. <laughs> Next was the Hylus 48 Center cockpit for the tidy sum of $845,000. While the craftsmanship materials and build of the Hylus are undoubtedly top-notch. What do you think? Yeah. Um, Understatement of the day? Yeah. We found that we just really weren't into the layout of a center cockpit boat. Works great for a ton of people, just doesn't use the space the way we would like it to. That's kind of a small bed, but that would be the, this would be the guest quarters. Oh yeah, and it's roughly $700,000 outside our budget. No. Baby has been passed off. Here, drive. Like, Where'd you guys both do when I got one there? Late because one, with our height differences. This is a overwhelming boat show right here. Yeah, that's what a Marlowe power boat looks like. Sadly, the last we'd heard, Marlow had put the Hunter factory in Florida up for sale. Not sure what that means for Hunter sailboats. Next up was the line of Benetos. All beautiful, one of which may have been the most expensive boat we went on at the entire show. Nothing on the cabin top. This has built in mats up here already. Look at these steps, guys. It's hard to find too many faults in a $1.4 million boat. However, with regard to their lesser boats that were priced within range of some mere mortals, 
We kind of thought their sibling boats by Juneau won on most points. Jeez. <laughs> That's huge. That's so cool. You can just fold everything down and put the covers over it. And it's just counter space. That's pretty cool. Man, this is like some slick wood. I'm gonna fall on my ass. All right, this is a this is a pretty good sized bedroom for me. I think Lauren might have to sleep someplace else, but this will be all right. And of course, we did have to go check out a couple cats just to satisfy our curiosity. We've actually sailed and visited quite a few really nice catamarans, and have always just preferred monohull sailing traits. That said, they're really comfy. I like where the helms are. It's cool. I was last night. We turned around. I'm the south wing now. We're, we're, we're not 100% sure we're allowed, but we're on the intramural camera and we just walked on. Had a gang plank and we just did it. We said no. Nobody told us no. They're sitting back there and they didn't yell at us, so. This is a 51. A vagabond, I believe, is a 45. We did tour the inside as well, but the owner was right there with us and we didn't want to be those people. You can do it. All right, these are the DeFours. I've been looking forward to seeing these. As I was expecting, the DeFours were really sharp and pretty reasonably priced, relatively speaking. All right, we'll see how hot teak decks are once and for all. They're a little hotter. It's not like one of the hottest days or anything. Sure are pretty, aren't they? I thought the Dufours had a very racy, sexy look about them on the outside, and on the inside they were really comfortable and very sensibly laid out. We actually preferred the layout of the Dufour 46 to the 56. Sometimes it feels like designers just don't know what to do with all the extra space in a bigger boat, so they kind of try to get too cute with it. There you go. So 
we left the Miami Boat Show with our palettes cleansed by all the glitz and glamour. And feeling ready to start wrapping up our real search. Join us next week as we visit three more boats and make an offer on one. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers! As you look through seasons that have come and gone And you wonder how we even made it this far